Ah, uh, Oregon politics. Can you feel the blood pressure rising already? I can. Remember last month when state lawmakers were fighting over how to draw Oregon's new congressional districts? Well, finally, they agreed, or at least rather Republicans agreed not to walk out over the Democrats' plan because that's as good as we can get in Oregon at this point. Scott certainly remembers. He emailed us this suggestion. Take people out of it, he said. Have a computer randomly select a starting point, a.k.a. some corner of the state. Have a randomly selected boundary shape, diagonal, square, round. Then have it grow until the correct number of people are in the district. He is so fed up with Oregon politicians, he would rather have a computer do a basic paint word drawing to make these districts. Well, apparently we have the next best thing. The Princeton Gerrymandering Project just analyzed Oregon's new map. Yes, with a computer, and they gave it an F grade in terms of partisan fairness. Well, it's a, it's a little complicated. So Oregon got an F um, because of its, the combination of its uh, map not being fair uh, to Republicans in the state of Oregon and the fact that there weren't enough competitive districts. Uh, and, and the way that we determined that uh, was um, we have a computer program that generates a million maps uh, using an algorithm, and it does so by taking into consideration Oregon's political geography. So it thinks about where folks are located, uh, takes into consideration the various criteria that map drawers have to comply with when they're drawing the lines, and then says, um, what would the expected partisan outcomes of this million maps be? And, and it uses uh, a bar chart to do that. So an A grade from our algorithm would actually have created a 4-2 delegation. So not dramatically different from the map that was drawn. And it still would have given more uh, congressional seats to the Democratic Party. But it just says that really there should have been probably one more Republican leaning seat. And apparently that's enough to get you an F. And by the way, Oregon's not the only state that they're grading. Every state has to redraw their district lines after the census. So we asked how they've rated other maps compared to Oregon's. So Oregon's map is, I'll, I'll be honest, is probably basically on par with the maps that we're seeing that state legislatures are drawing. Um, so where the state legislators are the ones that get to ultimately draw congressional maps, we are seeing that they are often partisan gerrymanders. Um, we've been giving out a lot of Fs. Uh, so Texas, for example, has finalized their grade. We gave them an F. Uh, Illinois is in the process of, of finishing up their process, and we, we gave them an F as well. Um, but that compares quite sharply to those states where there were some sort of citizens commission drawing the maps. So, for example, in Colorado, uh, where they passed a ballot initiative that, that put the map drawing process into the hands of citizens, uh, we actually give those maps an A. Um, so it, it does sort of suggest that when you take out the political actors from the process that you can get fairer maps. As someone who is from Illinois and lives in Oregon, boy, do I have egg on my face. Well, speaking of that, a group called People Not Politicians is trying to get an initiative on Oregon's 2022 ballot to create an independent redistricting commission. That means lawmakers would frankly not be involved anymore. I can hear Scott cheering from here. Right now, they are working to gather signatures. It is worth noting, though, the same group tried and failed to get this on the ballot in 2020. All right. Meantime, there is a few legal challenges to Oregon's new maps. Oregon's former Republican Secretary of State Bev Clarno is suing over the congressional district map, saying it is unconstitutionally gerrymandered to favor Democrats. So she probably agrees with the F. There are also a couple of lawsuits over the state's new legislative districts so of state politics. Interestingly, one of them argues that Democrats drew a House district so one of their own members would lose his seat. Yeah. Democrat State Representative Marty Wildy represents part of Southeast Eugene, but the new map makes his district a lot more rural and more likely to be won by a Republican. So now Wildy isn't part of this lawsuit, but he says he supports it. He claims he's being punished for planning to challenge Democratic Senator Floyd Prozanski in a primary for his seat. Ah, the webs get more complicated. All right.